What if I told you the question humanity has asked for centuries may have just been answered? That life, real biological life, might finally have been discovered on Mars. Welcome to Deep Space Explained, the channel where we unravel the mysteries of the universe, from black holes and exoplanets to the most groundbreaking discoveries right here in our cosmic backyard. And today, we're diving into the most thrilling possibility of all, the detection of life on the Red Planet. Recent analyses from Mars missions have revealed something extraordinary. Organic molecules, methane signatures fluctuating with the seasons, and now, structures resembling microbial colonies in Martian rock samples. For decades, we found hints. But this, this could be the smoking gun. Scientists are debating whether what we're seeing is the first undeniable evidence that life once thrived, or still survives, on Mars today. But why Mars? Out of all the planets in our solar system, why has this cold, dusty world captivated our imagination? Because Mars is eerily similar to Earth. It had rivers, lakes, and maybe even oceans billions of years ago. It has polar ice caps. It has seasons. And just beneath its surface, there may still be liquid water today, hidden away, waiting to be discovered. If life could emerge on Earth, why not Mars? This isn't the first time we've come close. Back in the 1970s, NASA's Viking landers ran experiments to detect metabolism in Martian soil. The results? Controversial. Some signals look like microbial activity, but others could be explained by chemistry. For decades, the debate raged on. But today, with far more advanced instruments, we may finally be seeing what Viking hinted at all along. Here's where it gets really fascinating. Methane. On Earth, most methane comes from living organisms. And on Mars, rovers have detected methane spikes, sometimes vanishing quickly as if produced and destroyed in real time. What causes them? Geology or biology? If tiny Martian microbes are alive beneath the surface, exhaling methane, it would change everything we know about life in the universe. And soon, we might hold Mars in our hands. NASA and ESA are preparing missions to bring Martian rock samples back to Earth. Inside those tiny tubes of dust and rock could be microfossils, or even dormant life, waiting for us to wake it up. The moment those samples arrive, humanity could know the truth. But the story of life on Mars might go deeper than microbes. Billions of years ago, Mars wasn't a desert. It had rivers carving valleys, lakes filling craters, and possibly even a vast northern ocean. If life had that environment to thrive in, who's to say it didn't evolve complexity, just as it did on Earth? To understand Mars, we look to Earth. In the deepest oceans, in boiling hot springs, even in radioactive waste, life finds a way. These organisms are called extremophiles. If microbes can survive here, then surviving just below Mars's surface, protected from radiation, warmed by geothermal heat, suddenly doesn't seem impossible at all. And here's a thought. What if life on Earth actually came from Mars. Some scientists believe rocks blasted off Mars by asteroid impacts may have carried microbes across space, seeding Earth with the spark of life. If true, we're not just discovering alien life, we're discovering our ancient relatives. Imagine the headline, Life Found on Mars. Religions, philosophies, and science itself would be transformed. We would no longer ask if we are alone, but how many others are out there? Mars would prove that life is not a miracle unique to Earth, but a natural outcome of the universe itself. 
But what if there's more? What if fossils of multicellular organisms are found? What if something resembling plants or even animals once roamed the Martian plains? It may sound like science fiction, but so did exoplanets, gravitational waves, and black holes until we prove them real. This discovery would also change our destiny. The first human missions to Mars won't just be about exploration. They'll be about biology. We'll be searching for life, studying it, protecting it, and perhaps even learning from it. Because understanding Martian life could unlock medicine, technology, and survival strategies we've never dreamed of. But with discovery comes responsibility. If life exists on Mars, we must protect it. Colonizing the planet recklessly could wipe out the very thing we came to find. This isn't just about curiosity, it's about ethics. We must decide. Are we guardians or invaders? The search for life on Mars is far from over. In the coming years, new missions will carry more advanced instruments than ever before. The ExoMars rover, equipped with a deep drilling system, aims to reach up to two meters below the surface, where signs of past or present biology may still be preserved. Meanwhile, NASA's Perseverance rover continues to collect samples, carefully sealing them for the first ever return to Earth. Each one could hold the key to answering the greatest question of all. Are we alone? But perhaps the most exciting step will be human explorers. Within the next two decades, astronauts may walk on the Martian surface, drilling, studying, and searching with tools no robot can match. Imagine it, the first human to hold a Martian rock and whisper, this contains life. That moment would not just belong to science, it would belong to all of humanity. The next chapter in the search for life is already being written, and soon we may live to see the answer unfold. So maybe the greatest discovery in human history is not that life exists elsewhere, but that we are part of a much larger cosmic story. If Mars has life, then the universe is teeming with it. And if the universe is teeming with life, then somewhere out there, intelligence may already be looking back at us. This is just the beginning. Humanity stands on the edge of discovery, staring at Mars not as a barren desert, but as a world alive with secrets. If you want to keep exploring the cosmos with us, don't forget to subscribe to Deep Space Explained, because the next great discovery could happen tomorrow, and you won't want to miss it.